go listen to the declaration. So I don't want to say no more, please, now. Nah, <laughs> he messed my ring for goodness sake. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of hype around it. They're, they're People does, want you in the TikToks, Zach. They do want me in the TikToks. They do want me. In I the won't TikToks. get you doing cringy ones, just yeah. the cool ones. <laughs> Yo, I'm Zach. Hi, I'm Molly, and we're here playing Text on the Beach with Cosmo UK. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I've got a text. Did the pressure ever get to you in the villa? Yes, definitely. And I think for me, it happened very, very quick on like day two and three. There was a lot of pressure, it was very overwhelming. Um, but I kind of just took a step back, thought, what would Molly actually do in this situation? And this is how this all happened. Um, so yes, I did feel pressure in the first few days. No, I think uh, for me, I definitely struggled in there, but I feel like I never really let the pressure get, pressure get to me. At the end of the day, pressure makes diamonds. And um, no, I had, I had an experience of a lifetime. And um, other than that, it was... Mm. As soon as I felt any sort of pressure, the first thing I wanted to do is go and sit with Zach. And I think this is how we actually kind of I'm all sure. started I'm somehow. Sure. Just finding space where there is no pressure. Yeah, it's like you're, you're living away from home and you don't know when you're going back home. You start missing people. So obviously you're going to struggle a little bit here and there. But like, it's a part of the journey as well. Oh. Molly, when you were dumped from the villa, when did you find out you were going back in for Casa and more and how did you feel about returning? So I got home, um, I did After Sun, I did the podcast, um, and then the next day I found out that I was going back and I was so excited. Obviously I'd seen everything from leaving and I remember just being sat with my family and watching the TV and just feeling sad, emotional, and then angry at times. Um, and I just wanted to go back. Obviously when I left, I said, I'm waiting. And that was my plan. Mm. Um, but to get the opportunity to go back and actually return, I was so excited for it. I was literally on the phone like, yes, yes, yes. Get me back in there, I can't wait. Zach. What were your thoughts when you saw Molly walk back into the villa? I've said it a couple of times and I'm actually not lying when I say this. The first time I saw her, I was there thinking, damn, I need a therapist. Like I, I, I genuinely convinced myself I'm not hallucinating. And um, yeah, I can't, it's, it's, it's a bunch of mixed emotions when, you, when I saw her walking back in. But first one was, damn, therapist needed. I didn't actually see your reaction because I remember I was really nervous <laughs> and I didn't really want to make eye contact. I remember walking in looking at everyone else but Zach. No, so I don't really know what you did. I was just I was like, I was like what? What? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was an experience. Man. What did you both think of Katie's comments at the reunion? Um, I feel like I didn't really think anything of them. Um, I think everything that needed to get said has been said and uh, yeah, I've got really, nothing really left to say about the matter. I feel like that that chapter's done. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for the next step with Moving this on. one. And uh, more than happy to just sort of leave that where it stands. Yeah. How did you feel about KD saying, enjoy your 15 minutes? Ah, uh, you know what? The funny thing is, I never really went into Love Island to find fame. Um, I'd be honest, I didn't know finding love is actually what was going to happen in the process of doing it. But I think it was a good place to like, build a, some type of brand. I'm here to find success. And I think uh, the younger community needs someone who can advocate mental health and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And I, I wanna, I feel like I can be a good good sort of person and a role model for that. So mm -hmm. that's what I want. But yeah, not here for 15 minutes of fame, here for success and to help people. So um, I've got nothing to really say about that matter. Mm -hmm. Zach, will you be joining Molly's TikToks in the future? Ah. I might feature in one or two of them, you never know. I think, um... There's a lot of hype around it. There, there does... People want you in the TikToks, Zach. They do want me in the TikToks, they do want me in the I won't TikToks. get you doing cringy ones. Just you... the cool ones. <laughs> no, you don't, you don't make me cringe anyway. I think, um, what you do and the message you're presenting is incredible. And I couldn't be more proud of you. And, um, yeah, man, look, I'll back it in however way I can. I don't know if you'll get me doing all the dances, but uh, I'm sure I can be in the background somehow <laughs> doing something. Deal. You heard it here first. Do you have any regrets from your time in the villa? No, no regrets, nothing at all. I think everything that's happened has happened for a reason. And got, stop woeing. Sorry. And got us to where we are now. No, I think, uh, look, part of Love Island is the journey itself. And it's like, you have to go through everything mm -hmm. when you're in there. It's like, it's, it's hard to explain what it is you feel, go through, and every obstacle you, you face. But um, the way our journey's gone, 
everything that's happened has led to where it's got to you. Mm. And I think that's that's the main thing for me. And we've so. said it before, like we've built such a strong foundation from everything we've been through in the villa. If something was out of place or didn't happen, we probably wouldn't be as strong as we are now. Yeah, man, you can't live life with regrets. You only got one of them. You just learn from your lessons. So uh, mm. I'm, de I'm definitely, I'm happy with how it went. Yeah, 100%. Have you seen any rumors about yourselves that you'd like to set straight? Oh, I've seen a rumor. I dated Tommy Fury, apparently. I didn't. Let's set that straight. I've never met him before. I never dated Tommy Fury. It was a TikTok trend at the time. It's got brought up, but it's, it's not true. Another rumor is my mum is apparently an ITV producer. She's not. She is a teacher at a high school. So that's another one to set straight. Another one I'd like to set straight. I've actually found quite a few here. Um, that I was tactical, you know, and played like a game of being Molly May. I had no intention of being Molly May. I love her to bits. I absolutely love her, and I was a fan when she was on the show. But I come out to see side by side things. I've played this game and been very tactical. Set it straight. I didn't have a clue I was doing that. We must just be very, very similar. And my name's Molly. I think if, if I was called Danielle with brute, like brown hair, probably wouldn't be a thing. I'm hearing a lot of comments going around recently that uh, Molly's more into me than I am to her. Look, man, I, I, I just got to laugh at those comments. You can't tell me how I feel. I know how I feel. Hopefully you know how I feel. He's very into me. Oh, <laughs> Damn. No, but um, look man, I'm completely in love with this one. I think you're, you're a proper good one. And meeting you's been incredible. And I look forward to the future. Go back and listen to the declaration again. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I look, if, I'm not one to fake things. I don't need to say things I don't mean. And um, yeah, man, just go go listen to the declaration. Stop. I don't want to say no more, please. No, he wears my ring for goodness sake. <laughs> How are you both planning to make your long distance relationship work? I don't think there's really any planning. I think it's an hour and a half on the train. It's really not that far. Um, I think people have made it sound like we are from completely different planets. Um, when actually, it's not, it's not that long, to be honest. And I don't think there's much planning. It's just going to see how it works. How often we see each other? and then go from there, really. Yeah, I think um, Molly's a very busy girl. I'm a very busy guy. I think uh, the distance isn't really a thing. It's good to have a bit of distance. Let us still focus on what we need to be doing. And um, look, it's just about communicating and coming together when we need to, really. Like, it's just, it's, it's not that deep of a fault for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I seem to be getting asked about distance a lot when it isn't even a fault in my own head, yeah. so. How have you dealt with some of the negativity since leaving the villa? How have I dealt with it? Do you know what? When I first came out, um, that sounds very weird to say, um, I went on my phone straight away and I found myself looking through everything. So I kind of learned my lesson from then to not be on it as much because I found myself scrolling past a million lovely, amazing comments saying how much people loved me and then seeing one negative comment and then it stuck with me and then I'd read into it and then I'd keep delving into the negative ones. So I don't do that now because I kind of learned the lesson that that was not good for me straight away. Um, but you know what, I just take it on the chin like I did in the villa really, if I ever heard anything negative, um, just pass it over. Like it, it doesn't really bother me. Um, I'll just let it pass. Uh, you know, how have I dealt with the negativity? I haven't. Um, look, it's, you can't please everyone, especially when you're being viewed to millions. You're gonna annoy some people here and there. Everyone's entitled to your opinion. That's a part of life. You choose whether or not you let it affect or you don't. But um, how have I dealt with it? I just haven't, look, it's just, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not here to please everybody. That's that's not what I'm about. And, um, and I think we've been very similar in a way throughout the villa and now that we just keep ourselves to ourselves and we know us better than anybody. And I'm, I'm, we've always been like that. We, we was 100% ourselves and real in the villa. We're going to stick to that 100% be ourselves when we've left. We know who we are. Mm -hmm. I'm comfortable with who I am. I'm a, are you comfortable with who you are? Absolutely. There we go then. So no problems. What are you most excited for after Love Island? The most obvious way to answer this one, uh, definitely getting the real thing with you. Mm -hmm. I think um, we spoke about that a lot. And that we do, we planned a lot of dates that we haven't done yet. So I, I look forward to doing those. Mm -hmm. I, on my personal journey, I think um, one of the first questions I was asked when I went in there was, am I a role model? And uh, I said no. But then since coming out, I think um, it's really surprised me how much of like the younger people recognise us and coming up for me for photos. And uh, yeah, I just want to sort of, whether or not I wanted to be a role model, I didn't, it's happened. And um, I think with the platform I've somehow been given, 
that's that's literally where I want to put my mm. focuses towards. I want to help people. It's it's such a thing. I was doing personal training before, and I saw like a lot of mental health with my male clients. And um, since coming out, I've seen a lot of hate towards myself. I've seen a lot of hate towards you as well. And uh, I'm lucky that you're so headstrong. And um, but just seeing it, and it's like I can see why people really would struggle. And uh, luckily, I'm very thick-skinned, and I feel like. I, I I want to have a voice for people, and I wanna I wanna see what I can do with this. I think at this point, it's just about educating myself that little bit more, and furthering my knowledge. Having a platform like this is um can't really put it to waste, can we? We've no, ever been good I, I, I feel like if you're in a position to give back and you don't give back, there's something wrong. And I I, I know how I can't. I know where I come from. I'm comfortable with it. And uh, yeah, man, I'm just I'm excited for the future. I'm just excited to carry on with what I was doing beforehand. It's just now it's on a completely different scale, which obviously is amazing. Um, so just carry on posting fun, entertaining content, um, and just doing what I love most. Yeah, like, see you yeah, I'd love to do presenting. That's yeah. the goal. That's the big goal. There we go. I want to be Maya. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>